Chelsea's dominance since Tuchel took over in all competitions. Out of 14 games, they have won 10, had four draws and zero losses. With 17 goals, only two goals against, and 12 clean sheets, dominance is a good word. So for more, I'm going to toss it over to Sebastian, who is standing by with Craig. Craig Burley, former Chelsea midfielder, back with us now on SportsCenter. Craig, let's talk about your former team. Over two months since Thomas Tuchel took charge, and they have yet to lose a game. How do we explain the sudden and, I have to say, pretty dramatic turnaround at Chelsea? I think organization. Uh, he came in with, uh, and obviously he's a much more experienced manager than, the, than, the, than his predecessor, Frank Lampard. Uh, because he's been over the, the course before, both in Germany and France. So he came in, he had a quick look at the squad. He decided not only was he going to change personnel, but he was going to change the team shape. That was a back three, when Lampard had pretty much played a back four. We saw Hudson Adoy come in as a wing back on the right side. That, that was never heard of. He'd never done that before, Hudson Adoy. We saw Marcus Alonso come back in from the cold in that wing back slot on the left. And then he played. Uh, the two wider guys uh, up front a little bit narrower behind the striker so he completely changed the shape of the team now within that uh, time frame since he's been in charge I don't think the shape has changed Sebi much if at all but the personnel within it has changed one for rotational purpose purposes and two for, for performance purposes so uh, if you look at the defensive side of the game as well the defensive side of the game under Tuchel pretty much has been steadfast Craig, of course, they're still alive in the Champions League into the quarterfinals where they drew Porto. Now, a lot of people said best case scenario, the best draw for Chelsea. Do you agree? Do you expect Chelsea then to be in the semifinals of the Champions League? I do. And, and, but that's not to say Porto or Muggs. I saw Porto's games against Juventus. I mean, albeit in Turin, Juventus were poor. Uh, that being said, it went to, all the way to, to extra time. But... But they're no mugs. They're very well organised. They've got Pepe at the back at 38. They've got Oliver Olivero, the Portuguese midfielder, in there. And they've got a big uh, physical threat up front. So, yeah, I think Chelsea just edge it in terms of being the favourite. So I would expect them to go through. Uh, but, you know, it is the best draw they could have got in terms of Porto are seen as the weakest team in this part of the... the uh, this part of the knockout stage but that's not to say they're a bad team it's just that all the sort of good teams are through and it's just a, a mix now but yeah that's going to be an intriguing game but the pressure's on Chelsea because they are by most seen as the favourites Craig real quick 30 seconds or less what's more important to Chelsea to stay in the top four or bring home a trophy whether it's Champions League or FA Cup Oh, I think getting in the top four uh, trophies are important but I think being in, at the elite level competition in the Champions League with the finances that bring, brings. But one of the things that Abramovich would have said to uh, Thomas Tuchel uh, when he came in to take that job, listen, get us in the top four, Champions League next year, and then we take it from there. Craig Burley, ex-Chelsea midfielder. Thanks as always.